want to find my mom and dad. This is so scary. What the? Oh my gosh, what is going on with the town? I have no idea. What's all that smoke? Maybe there's like some kind of fire? I don't know. Man, we picked a weird day to go to the library for a book report. Who goes to the library? We have the internet. Oh, man. I don't know, but this is starting to freak me out. I'm going to call mom and dad. We don't have any cell service. Everything's down. I'm getting really nervous. I mean, they went to work this morning and I don't know. What if they're not going to come home? I don't know, man. This is starting to freak me out, too. I, I just kind of feel lost. Yeah, I do, too. I mean, no cell service, no internet service. The TVs are out, the radios are out. And look at the sky. It's like this blood red color. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, I feel like I hear a weird sound. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. It just sounds like this, like, people are screaming and there's like... <laughs> Wait, what is that? Uh, I don't know. It's a zombie. Oh my gosh. Come on. We got to get out of here. Come on. Let's try to get home quick. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. It's like the world is ending. Don't say that, Tyler. The world isn't ending, is it? Franklin, I don't know what's going on. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, look at the sky. It just feels like everything's falling apart. And that was definitely a zombie that we saw. No way, dude. Zombies aren't real. I didn't think they were real either, but what explanation could we have? I mean, that thing chased us. It didn't look like a normal person. It was green and drooling and just growling at us. Yeah, it was really freaky. Kind of the definition of a zombie, huh? Yeah, and I'm really worried about mom and dad. We haven't been able to get a hold of them. And there's no sign of them anywhere. It doesn't look like anyone's been back to the house. No, not at all. This is starting to freak me out. I really miss mom and dad. I miss them too, Franklin, but, but we gotta stay strong for mom and dad because if they are out there, they're gonna need us. Yeah, you're right. We've gotta find them. They're alive, right? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But if we have hope and we believe that they're still alive, that's gonna be our only chance. We have to just believe that they're alive and keep going for mom and dad. Tyler? Yeah, what's up? Do you hear that noise again? No. No, it's a zombie! Another one! Come on, quick! Get out of the front of the house! We gotta run away! We gotta get out of the city! Hey, you two, stop right there! Uh, hey, what's going on? What's going on with you? Um, we were just trying to get out of the city. There's some crazy stuff going on. It looks like there's like some sort of zombie outbreak or something. Well, sorry we can't help you, but there's no passing this area. Wait, what? What do you mean you can't help us? You just heard me, right? You're not passing this area. This area is for my group only. Nobody from the infected area is coming out here. What do you mean infected area? How do you think zombies get started? It starts with a virus from one person. Then it keeps going and going and going until everybody's gone. And I'm not going to let that happen to the people I love. Well, look, we're trying to find the people that we love, too. Just let us pass. I'm just trying to find my mom and dad. Your mom and dad are probably dead, kid. Wait, what? How do you know? Because nobody's surviving out there. These zombies are taking over. Look, we're alive. Why don't you just let us pass so that we can be okay? I'm going to put this in simple terms for you two. If you take one step forward, you're going to be our prisoner. And then we're going to use you as bait to feed the zombies so we can run away. You understand me? Oh, man. No, this is so bad. Look, Franklin, let's just get out of here. We'll find another way out. Oh, man, I can't believe we got away from those people. They were so scary. Yeah, I'm glad we stopped running. I need a break. I know, I do too. There's so much going on. I know. I don't think they'll find us out here. We ran really deep into the woods. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not sure about anything anymore. The world just seems like it's been turned upside down. And do you believe that guy, what he said about mom and dad being dead? I don't want to believe it. 
I have to have hope inside that they're still out there somewhere. It's the only way we're going to be able to survive this. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, if mom and dad are alive, where do you think they are? I'm not sure. Maybe they... I don't know, they were at work, right? So they had their cars. Maybe they drove somewhere. Somewhere, like, hidden or something. Somewhere away from the city. Thinking that we'd be able to find them. Well, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe they saw everything going downhill and... And they got out before they, you know, everything got worse. Yeah, I hope so. It sounds like we have to do the same thing. Our city's not safe anymore. And who knows, maybe we're the only part that's affected. Maybe the rest of the world is fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. We should go check. Well, yeah, but where are we gonna go? Okay, well, let me think. The closest place nearby that could be safe might be... Uncle Jerry's house, actually. He has that farm, like, a few miles outside of the city. That would be perfect. It's so hard to get there. It's all dirt roads and stuff. And maybe Mom and Dad made their way there after everything went downhill. Maybe this is where we'll find them. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Well, all we have to do is try to find the highway, and then just, you know, follow the highway through the woods, and then we'll be able to find their house. It shouldn't be that hard. You know what? I think you're right. We might actually survive this. All right, come on, let's go. Well, here's the highway, but it looks like everybody's gone. Yeah, and they just left their cars in the road, and what are we going to do now? I don't know if they left them in the road. I think that they might have all turned to zombies, too. This could be such a dangerous place. Yeah, and if there are these many cars, imagine how many zombies there must be. Man, this isn't good. What are we going to do? Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, wow, another person. Hey, man, how's it going? We're lost out here. We're trying to find our family. Yeah, get back. Get back. Have you been bitten? Wait, no, we haven't been bit. No, we're, we're okay, we promise. No, I, I don't think so. Look like you guys got beaten in the face. I, I think you're going to turn into one of them creatures. No, 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 we're not. We're not. We're just looking for our family. We escaped the city. We're completely fine. Get back. Get back now. Get back. Whoa, man. You don't have to point that thing at us. We're okay. That's exactly what they'd say. You're, you're, you're one of them creatures. I, I'm going to take you out now. Oh, my gosh. He's shooting at us. Come on. We got to get out of here. Yeah, that's right, zombie. Get on out of here. Oh, oh my gosh, look, a diner, and the lights are on. Come on, let's go in. Uh, hey, excuse me, sir. Oh, hello there, boys. Hey, how's it going? Sorry to bother you, but we came in here for some shelter. I don't know if you know what's going on out there, but things are getting really crazy. I heard that there's some sort of horrible epidemic going on right now. Yeah, there's some kind of crazy zombie outbreak. I don't know how it started, but now their people are just turning into zombies everywhere. Oh, zombies are no joke at all, boys. I'm so glad that you found me. Yeah, we're really glad too, because we're trying to find our mom and dad. We got separated during the outbreak and we don't know if they're alive or not. And we're trying to find them. I know that the best way for us to survive is if we all stick together. Well, you're a smart, smart boy. But right now, you're with me. So, I don't know if you boys are interested, but you can stay with me for a little while. Get you away from those zombies. They don't come out this far, that's for sure. Too much of a walk. Wow, that would be awesome. Uh, where, where would we stay? Right here in the diner? No, 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 I have a cabin. It's nothing special, but it's out in the woods, far away from everything. Nobody can bother you there. You can rest up and then try to find your parents from there. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is great. All right, come on, let's go. Well, welcome to my cabin, boys. Uh, make yourselves at home. Uh, yeah, man, this cabin's like a little creepy, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, and a little dirty, too. And is it just me, or does it smell kind of funny? Yeah, yeah, well, it's an old cabin, and I'm only here by myself. It's not really that important for me to keep it clean, especially now that the world's been invaded by zombies. All right, well, that's cool. Uh, I mean, I really appreciate you giving us a place to stay anyway, so, um, 
What, where should we crash? Oh, well, you boys have a bedroom upstairs. You guys can take that and I'll sleep down here on the floor. Oh, wow, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Oh, no problem. I know that you guys have had a rough journey. I want you to get your sleep so that you can find your family. All right, awesome. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs. Oh my gosh, Franklin, there's a zombie in here. Come on, get out of the room. Where do you boys think you're going? Um, do you know that there's a zombie in a cage in that room? Yes, of course I do. I put him there. That's my pet. Wait, you have what? a pet zombie? Oh, yes, I do. And he's very, very hungry, boys. Very hungry. Uh, what do you mean by that? I mean that you two are gonna be his lunch. <laughs> oh, come on. We got to get out of here, Franklin. Let's go. Oh, boys, boys, there's no escaping me. <laughs> I'll find you. <laughs> oh, man, I think we lost that creepy old guy. Man, we should have never went in that cabin. I knew something was up with him. Dude, he had blood all over his apron. I thought he was just a butcher or something, but I think he's a butcher of another yeah, kind. Yeah, I think so too, man. This is getting so out of control. There's zombies, there's crazy people shooting at us, there's guys trying to feed us to zombies. What's gonna happen next? How are we gonna survive in this world, man? This is so crazy. I don't know. I just really miss mom and dad. Oh, man, I know, Franklin. I miss them too. But we can't be too sad. We have to believe that they're still out there. Maybe they're going through the same stuff trying to find us. We don't know. It's just like, it doesn't seem like there's any nice people left in the world. Like, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe how much it's changed people. Nobody wants to help us out. It's like we're all alone. It's just me and you, Franklin. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's just you and me now. We got distracted. We have to focus. We were going to go to Uncle Jerry's, Yeah, remember? and we still can. Come on, let's go through the woods. We'll find Uncle Jerry's, and hopefully they'll be home. And, oh, man, and I'm praying that Mom and Dad are there. And once we get there, everything's going to be back to normal. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually made it. We made it to Uncle Jerry's farm. Yeah, Tyler, we made it. I'm surprised, but this doesn't feel right. I know. It doesn't seem like they're around here anywhere, but at least the sky's changed. The sky looks a little normal. That's good. Yeah, you can almost see the sun peeking out. It's actually kind of nice. I know, it really is. Well, I wonder what happened to Uncle Jerry. I mean, if he's not here and our parents aren't here... Oh man, I don't know. I mean, this seems like the place that everybody would go to meet, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's secluded, it's quiet, away from the road, you know? This is just so strange. Maybe we should just wait for them here. I don't know about you, but I am exhausted. I wouldn't mind just going in the barn and taking a nap. You know what? That actually sounds really good. All this running around and... Scary zombies chasing us. Dude, I I could use a good night's sleep. Yeah, me too. All right, Franklin, let's get some sleep, and then hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Oh, Franklin, what do you want to do today? Oh, I don't know maybe get something to eat i'm kind of hungry yeah i guess we should go look for some supplies but oh my gosh it's a zombie oh no what are we gonna do franklin there's no way out uh, i don't know uh what do we do oh my gosh you saved us thank you so much how can wow, we repay you not so fast you're coming with me Franklin, how do we get into this mess? 
What the heck, man? I thought that girl was trying to save us. She threw us in this cage. Yeah, I have no idea. Well, I guess we're strangers and she just couldn't trust us, right? I don't know, but I mean, there's Bob wire on the top of this thing. We gotta find a way to escape. Well, I'm not climbing over that fence, so we've gotta figure out something. I wouldn't do that if I were you boys. Um, hey, what the heck, who are you? My name's John. Uh, okay, John, can you get us out of here? No, I'm not letting you two out of here. I don't know who you are. Look, what's going on? We're just out here in the woods. We're looking for our family. Your family's probably dead. Wait, what? Why would you say that? Because everybody's dead. And now the dead are coming back for us. I can't let you go. But come on, you can trust us. There's no reason to keep us in here. I mean, we can help you out. We're all alone and I'm tired of being alone. I'm really scared. We're all alone out here, kid. And I don't know if I can trust you yet. There's clans forming all over Roblox, and they're going to war with each other. Everybody's fighting over all of the resources. There's only limited food and limited shelter, and I don't know if you're the enemy. We're not the enemy, we promise, please. I don't know. I'm gonna have a trial and see if you're trustworthy. And if you're not, you two are gonna be zombie bait. Franklin, look! Franklin, look, there's a zombie! Uh, what? Oh no, this isn't good. It's gonna attack her! We gotta do something! Hey! Hey! Uh, oh no, she doesn't hear us, Franklin! Well, what should we do? You, you gotta get out there and save her! Quick, push these logs together! I'm gonna jump over this fence! I don't care if it has barbed wire! <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta find something! Oh, a weapon! There it is! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much for saving me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, hey, Tyler. Wow, oh my gosh, thank you so much for saving Sam. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem at all. That was all the tests that we needed. We know that we can trust you. I mean, you had the opportunity to run when you escaped, but you didn't. Let's get your friend out of there and find you guys a nice place to stay and maybe some food. Wow, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Oh, Franklin, isn't this great? We finally have some shelter. Yeah, this is so nice. And we ate so much at dinner. I'm actually full for the first time in days. I know, I can't believe this. These people were a little scary at first, but it seems like we gained their trust. Yeah, which is a good thing. Thank goodness you saved that girl. Yeah, I know. Man, that was awesome. Um, yeah, speaking of... Hey, you're the guy that saved me earlier. I really want to thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, what was your name again? Sam, right? Yeah, my name's Sam. Alright, cool, Sam. I'm Tyler. And it's no worries for saving you. I mean, I kind of owed you from earlier in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You did kind of owe me. Yeah, hey, you know, I really hope we can be friends. Yeah, I really hope so, too. But hey, yeah, I gotta go. Um, hopefully I get to see you around camp? Yeah, I hope so. Alright, see you later. Ooh, looks like somebody's got a crush on Sam. Oh, shut up, Franklin. Get some sleep. Leave me alone. Yeah, whatever. Hey boys, how'd you two sleep? Uh, I slept pretty good, thanks. Franklin, how about you? Um, I slept like a rock, actually. It's one of the best nights of sleep I've had in a while. Yeah, I think it just felt good that we weren't all alone. So what are you two boys doing out here anyway? You mentioned something about your family? We got separated from our mom and dad when all the zombie stuff happened. We were at the library and they were at work and they never came home. We've been trying to find them ever since. Well, boys, we're going to have to be your family now because this world is so unsafe. We don't know if they're going to be alive or dead. Oh, man. Well, do you have any idea what happened? All I know is that there was some sort of virus that was released and everything we've ever known and ever loved is gone. Now, it's just a depressing wasteland filled with the ones that we love coming back to destroy us. 
Oh man, that is some heavy stuff. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing we can really do. We just have to move on and have hope that someday they'll find a cure and things will go back to normal. Ah! Did you boys hear that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know, it sounds like somebody's being attacked. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna go, Franklin. You stay here. I need to make sure that you're protected. Okay, you be safe too. All right, I will. Oh no, it looks like it's Tom! I gotta shoot the zombie! Tom! Tom, are you okay? I'm okay, I'm alright. Tom, did you get bit? Oh uh, yeah, on my arm. I got bit on my arm. Quick, quick, we gotta help him! How do we help him? Come on, let's get something for his arm! Tyler, get away from him right now! But come on, man, he's dying. We need to save him. There please is no help. there is no saving you, Tom. Oh, John, please help. You know that there's nothing we can do for you, Tom. Come on, this is so messed up. This poor guy is dying. What are we supposed to do? Just leave him here? Tom, look, you've been a great friend, but you know the rules. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh. Wait, what rules? What are you talking about? Look, he's got two choices. We can either put him out of his misery now, or he can walk off into the woods and become a zombie. The choice is yours, Tom. No, come on, please! There's gotta be something we can do! Look, kid, you gotta stop it! This is the world we live in now, and things are hard! You're gonna have to make the tough choice! So what's it gonna be, Tom? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, Tom, I wish you luck on your journey. And I love you, brother. You were a great friend, and I'll always be grateful for the time that we had together. Me too, man. Oh, tell Kelly that I think she's nice. All right, I will. Come on, Franklin, let's go back to camp. Oh, hey, how did it go? Oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe it, it was so bad! What? What happened? So there was a guy out in the woods, and he got attacked by a zombie, and I tried to help him, but I was told that there was no help! That we had two options, we could either just let him walk off and be a zombie, or we could end it for him right then and there! Whoa, that's really intense, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, I tried to help him, I wanted to help him, but there was nothing we could do! And then I was told that in this new world, we have to start making hard decisions like this if we want to survive. Really? I don't want to make that decision. I don't want to have to make those decisions either. But unfortunately, it seems like this is the way that the world works now. No. No, this, is, this can't be true. This can't be happening. I know. Simon, do you remember when we were little kids and mom and dad took us to that park? And we watched the sunset? And then we got to go out for ice cream after? Yeah, I do. I remember also dropping my ice cream, and Mom and Dad bought me another one because I was crying. Simon, I don't think we're ever gonna have a day like that again. I think those days are just completely behind us now. Yeah, I think, I think you might be right. I guess if we want to survive in this world, we have to learn to put the past behind us. We gotta move forward, and we have to hope that Mom and Dad are still alive somewhere. Yeah, we have to find them. Ah, good morning, kids. How's everything going this morning? Oh, it's going pretty well. I mean, we slept pretty good, despite, you know, there being zombies everywhere and the world being ended. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, look, guys, we got some serious business that we have to talk about. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. What's going on? Look, we're running low on supplies, and, uh, I'm gonna need you kids to go in and try to find some for us. There's a fallen city not too far from here. Should be perfect with leftover food. Oh, doesn't that sound like really dangerous? No, I do it all the time. It's actually a lot riskier sending in a bunch of people to go get food. Yeah, Sam's right. It's way riskier sending more people. The, the more noise you make, the more you're gonna attract zombies. It's safer if you guys go. Oh man, I don't know. This sounds really dangerous. I'm not really one for too much adventure. 
I don't really know how to survive out there. You'll be okay. I do it all the time. Come on, come with me. Oh, all right. That sounds good. Franklin, you in? Oh, I don't know. This sounds really dangerous. Well, I guess we don't really have much of a choice. He's right. If you want to eat, you have to go. Uh, all right. Come on, Franklin. Let's do it. This must be the fallen city. Yeah, the food's probably in there somewhere, one of the stores. Let's go take a look. Franklin, you should stay here as the lookout. We're gonna need somebody to check and make sure zombies don't creep up on us. Yeah, and make sure to give us a shout if you see anything. Okay, sounds good. I'll keep watch. Good luck, guys. Thanks. All right, look, here's the store. Yeah, let's check in here. Whoa, look at there's so much stuff left over in here. Let's grab as much as we can. This is awesome. All right, awesome. I got as much as I could. Let's go get Franklin and go home. Yeah, let's get out of here. Gosh, guys, where are you? Hurry up. Is that... No. Wait a second. I do hear something. Oh no! There's two of them! No, I can't take it! I gotta get out of here! Alright, Franklin, we got the food! Franklin? Hey, where did he go? I don't know, I don't see him anywhere. That's not like him, he wouldn't just run off. Oh no, that's not good. Do you think he's okay? I mean, I hope so, but there are zombies around. Oh man, Franklin! Franklin! Help! Help! Wait, did you hear that? It sounds like he's yelling in the distance. Oh god, we gotta go check on him. Come on, let's go! There's too many of them. <laughs> Tyler, Sam, please help. Hey, zombies, this way. I think we lost him. Franklin, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What about you guys? I'm okay. Sam, are you alright? Did you get bit or anything? Um, no. I, I don't know. I, I just kind of tripped, but I'm okay. Alright, good. Look, Franklin, man, this is getting way out of hand. We gotta get you out of here. Yeah, I wanna go back to camp now. Can we go, please? Yeah, those zombies aren't gonna stay lost forever. Let's get out of here. Come on, guys, let's go. Great job, guys. Great job. I can't believe it. What a successful trip to the city. Yeah, it was definitely pretty stressful, but uh, we found this store that had a bunch of old food in it. There's tons and tons of stuff out there. Whoa, that's great. So there's more supplies that we can get? Oh, yeah, there's so many supplies. I mean, I think that we could probably make like 10 trips out there. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you. This is awesome. Were there any hiccups along the way? Um, well, 
Yeah, we ran into some zombies, I'm not gonna lie. Was everybody alright? What happened? Did anyone get bit? No, I didn't get bit. Sam, did you get bit? Nope, perfectly fine. Yeah, um, what about you, Franklin? Well, they chased me, but I ran on top of that car, so I was safe. Wow, that's great. All right, well, it's good to know that there are zombies in the area because next time we go out there, we're going to have to go with some serious reinforcements. We'll probably take one of the trucks and just try to get all the supplies at once. Yeah, I mean, that could be a great idea. I definitely don't think it's safe for us to just go out on our own, especially in a city that big. Well, I'm just glad that all of you are okay. And you know what, guys? Why don't you get some rest? You've had a long journey. All right, that sounds great. Franklin, I gotta say, man, I'm really happy that you're okay. Today was a close call. Yeah, and I don't want another close call like that to happen ever again, dude. I know. I was really scared that one of us was gonna get hurt. Um, me too. I was terrified that I was just gonna get eaten alive. Luckily, you guys distracted those zombies. I know. We did get lucky this time, but... I think next time we have to be more careful. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't think I should have been by myself, and I don't think we should ever split up like that again. I don't either, because honestly, Franklin, I don't know what I'd do without you, especially in this crazy world that we're living in now. Oh, dude, I know. Me too. I, I can't imagine thinking my life without my brother, you know? I know, and right now, you're my only family. All we have left is each other. That's right, and we need to make sure that we stay safe no matter what. Yeah, and I'm glad that Sam got out okay too. She had a close call as well. Yeah, she's a tough girl. I think she can handle all these zombies on her own. Yeah, I think she can too. She's really special. Yeah? Do you still like her a little bit? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Franklin. I think that I'm falling for her. She's so sweet and she's so nice and I just feel really comfortable when I'm with her. Well, dude, especially in a world like this, if you find someone you like, you better make sure they stay safe too. Yeah, you're right. Well, from now on, I'm gonna make sure that all of us are okay. I'm gonna make sure that we never get bit by zombies and everything's just gonna work out. I have hope that we're gonna find a cure and everything's gonna go back to normal. Hey Sam. Hey Tyler. Hey, are you are you okay? Don't don't take any offense to this, but you look a little sick. Honestly, I'm not feeling too well. I don't really know what's going on. I must have gotten a cold or something. Yeah, what is going on? Like, do you have like a runny nose or I don't I don't know. It's like you're a little like uh, your skin's like a little pale. I don't know. My body just feels really weird, and I've had a lot of trouble sleeping. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. There's probably some medicine in those supplies that we found. I can take a look for you later on. Thanks, Tyler. That's really sweet of you. Yeah, no problem. So, I don't know. I was thinking, um, there's not a whole lot to do around here, but I was wondering if maybe you'd want to go out on a picnic with me? You know, kind of like a date? Yeah, you know what? I would really love that. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Yeah, I have like this great idea. I think it's going to be really fun and Unfortunately, there's not a lot of food because we're in this camp, but I talked to John and he, he made a special case for us. I think it's going to be a really fun time. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to it, Tyler. I am too. But why don't you go get some sleep so that way you feel better for our date? Good plan. All right. I'll see you later, Sam. Bye, Tyler. Thanks for the heads up. I'll take care of this right away. Tyler! Tyler! Oh, hey, John, what's going on? I just got word that there's a zombie on the outside of camp. We gotta destroy it. Come on, I need your help. Okay, great, let's go. <laughs> Shh, be careful. There it is. Oh, man, this is scary. The zombie's so close. <laughs> And fire! <laughs> oh man, that was a close call. I know, this is starting to get dangerous. Man, I just wish that we could get these zombies out of here. 
I do too. Uh, I'm really disappointed. I thought that we were going to be safe here. We're really far away from all the cities, but apparently the zombies are finding out that we're here because every single day it seems like there's more and more headed this way. Oh no, so what are we going to do? I'm not sure. We might have to move the camp. We're starting to run out of supplies anyway, and we don't have enough men to guard the perimeter. Well, just let me know if there's anything that I can do. I don't mind helping you guard the perimeter. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure everyone stays safe. You're a good kid, Tyler. You're a good kid. Well, why don't we head back now and get some rest? Hey, Sam, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. It must just be that weird cold that I caught. It seems like a pretty bad cold. I'm Like I said, no offense or anything, but you don't look so good. You look like you really don't feel well. Yeah, well, <laughs> I really don't feel well. That's the thing. But I'm sure, just like any other cold, it will pass. I hope so. Well, I found a little bit of medicine, so hopefully that will help. Yeah, hey, it's worth a shot. Yeah, well, what do you think of the picnic? I was so excited to show you. This is really awesome, Tyler. I can't thank you enough. Thanks. I'm really glad. I know that everything's been so crazy lately, and I just wanted us to have, like, a sense of, you know, what it was like before. Yeah, no, this really is amazing. You're so sweet. Yeah, and I'm sorry there's not a lot of food in the basket, but, you know, we kind of have to ration everything out for everybody here at the camp, so I didn't want to take more than I could. Yeah. No, it's perfectly fine. I mean, this is enough for me, at least. <laughs> yeah, me too. And honestly, all I really care about is that you and I are spending some time together. I know. That's really what I've been looking forward to this whole time. Me too. I'm really excited. I don't know. I just don't know how I could get through this without you. That's what's kind of been helping me get through this cold and everything, is just knowing that you're here. Aw, oh, man, that's awesome. Well, let's enjoy this picnic together before we have to head back. Perfect. I'd love to. Franklin, what are you doing up here, man? Oh, hey, Tyler. Well, John had told me that I had watch duty tonight, so I figured I'd get a head start. Wow, the view up here is really beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice, and it's actually really nice and quiet, too. Yeah, that's good. Have you seen any zombies? Um, no, coast is clear for now. So what have you been up to? Well, I just left my date a little while ago with Sam. Ooh, your date with Sam. <laughs> How'd it go? It was awesome. I mean, she's not really feeling well. She has some sort of cold or something, but we had a great time. We just, like, hung out and talked, and we had a little picnic over by the river. It was so cool. Oh, wow. That actually kind of sounds like what our lives used to be like. I know. And Franklin, I know this sounds weird, but I think I'm falling in love with Sam. What? No way. Yeah. I don't know. It just feels like something good is finally happening. Like, there's some hope left in this world. Yeah, dude. There is some hope left, I still think. And I'm just so happy that... You know, something good is happening for you. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I don't know. I mean, I feel like if love can exist here, then maybe mom and dad are still alive. And maybe there's more love existing all over the place. And things will finally get back to normal. Yeah, I hope so. Because I could get used to some normal again. I could too. Well, man, it's getting a little chilly up here. I think I'm going to go home and try to relax a little bit. Okay, just make sure you leave some leftovers for me, because I'm still kind of hungry. All right, that sounds good, Franklin. Good luck on your watch, and let me know if you need anything. Get away from me! Get away from me, Sam! Stop right there! But let me explain. Hold on. There's no explaining. You've been bit. Hey, what's going on over here? Is everything okay? No, Tyler. Sam's been bit. Wait, Sam, is that true? When? Yeah, it's true. I, I was bit when we were in the city. I just, I really didn't want to tell you. I, I, I just wanted to spend my last few days with you. Oh no, Sam, this isn't good. There's got to be a way that we can save her. We have to find a way. I, I can't live without her. And I can't live without you. I'm sorry, but there's no way. There has to be. Come on. I've already lost everything that I've loved. I can't lose Sam, too. I'm sorry, Tyler, but this is the way it has to be. Sam knew the rules, and she knew the risks when she left the camp. Sam, 
You have to go. Like, no, please, Sam, stay, please. I can't do this without you. I know, but he's right. We do know the rules, and I just, I can't risk biting anyone else or anything. But Sam. It's okay, Tyler. I know I have to go. Franklin! Franklin! Tyler, what's wrong? Oh, remember when I told you that Sam was sick? Yeah, of course. She wasn't sick. She got bit when we were trying to save you from the zombies. Sam it turned into a zombie! What? No way. Yeah, I just found out I was outside and I could hear John yelling at her. So I went over to talk to him and he said that she couldn't stay here anymore. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Dude, that's awful. Sam was so nice. Why does this keep happening to us? I mean, every time something good starts to happen, it gets taken away. It's not fair, Franklin. It's not fair. I know, Tyler. It's not fair. But just calm down, okay? I'm trying to, but I love Sam. And I was looking forward to living in this crazy life with her. And now, it just seems like it's going to be so empty. I mean, how am I going to meet another person like Sam? Everybody's a zombie! I'm sorry. I wish I could say something to make you feel better. Oh, it's okay, Franklin. I, I know. I appreciate that you listen to me. But there's got to be something I can do. There has to be a cure for this. Maybe there is, and maybe one day we'll find it. You know what? No. I'm going to go find Sam, and I'm going to make sure that she's okay. Tyler, don't. That's not a good idea. I don't care. I'm going. Tyler! Sam! Sam! Tyler! You need to leave. You can't be here. Sam, no, I can't leave you like this. This isn't right. I, I, I just don't think I could go on knowing that you're just out here alone, turning into one of those creatures. But it's not safe for you to be here. I can turn you into a creature as well. I can harm anyone. You need to go on without me. Please, Sam, I love you. I can't live without you. You're like my only family besides Franklin. Without you, what are we going to have left? I know. I hate to think about it too, but really, I'm too far gone. You have to go on without me. Oh, you know what? I don't care. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up hope. There has to be a cure for this. And I'm going to spend every single day fighting and trying to find the cure. And I swear, Sam, I'm going to come back for you. I love you, Tyler. I hope you can find the cure. I love you too, and I will. All right, just hang tight and try not to get yourself into too much trouble when you turn into one of those things. I'll try. Goodbye, Sam. Bye, Tyler. Zombie's getting close, come on, take it out! All right, I'm trying. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. I know, keep firing, we have to protect the camp. Ah, they're getting closer. Don't worry, it'll be fine, just keep fighting. Oh man, I think that's the last of them. Yeah, I hope so. That's the most zombies I've seen out here. Yeah, well maybe some of our friends that got bit turned others into zombies. You know, that's not a bad point. Either way, I think this camp is getting a little too unsafe. Really? I really like it here. I don't want to leave. I think it's going to be the only way. It's going to take us some time. We're going to have to build the infrastructure, but I don't think it's safe here. Oh, all right, I guess if you think that's best. Yeah, I, th I think it's the best call. It'll take a few days to get everything ready, but we should probably head out and try to find a new location. Franklin, I got some bad news. Bad news? What is it this time? Well, you know how John and I were off fighting off all those zombies not too long ago? 
Yeah, I remember. I still can't believe you talked to that guy after what happened. Yeah, well, unfortunately, like he said, we have to make the hard decisions if we want to survive in this world. And John made another hard one today. He said that it's getting too dangerous here and that we have to leave. Leave? Where are we going to go? I don't know. The three of us are going to have to go and scout a new location so that everybody can come and live there. But he said that the zombies are getting too close and there's too many of them now. Pretty soon we'll be attacked. Oh man, I just feel like things keep getting worse and worse. I know, I do too. It's awful. I don't know how things could get any worse. I mean, we've already lost our family. I lost the love of my life. And now we're losing the only home that we had since the epidemic started. Yeah, I don't want to leave this place. I mean, we have a roof over our heads. There's a fire, there's some chairs. I mean, what else could we ask for? I don't know, things are just really hard, Franklin. I just feel so alone. Yeah, well, at least we have each other. Yeah, that's true, Franklin. I don't know what I'd do without you, man. But look, why don't we get some sleep? Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Yeah, I guess it is. All right, I'm heading off to bed. It's cold out this morning, Franklin. Yeah, thank goodness we have this fire. Boys, boys! Oh, uh, hi, John. Hey, John, what's up? Not too much. Look, I think that it's time we get out of here. The zombies are moving in way too close. Oh, really? Already? I mean, it, it was just yesterday. Maybe we got rid of all the zombies. Look, it's not worth the risk. Do you boys want to end up like one of them? Do you want to walk the earth a zombie? No. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that either. Well, then it's up to us to go find a new camp. Do you guys have any idea of a good spot? I know that you've been out traveling recently. Yeah, actually, I have a pretty good idea. Oh yeah, what's the idea? Well, you know that city that has all the supplies? I was thinking that maybe we could move closer to there. That way we wouldn't have to go on longer treks. Plus, I only really saw the zombies in the city. So if we set up a barricade, I don't think they'll be able to get in. Hmm, I like where your head's at. That sounds good. Maybe we should head north towards the city and see if we can find a good, reliable spot that would be safe for camp. Yeah, I mean, that sounds good to me. Are you up for it, Franklin? Yeah, absolutely. All right, that sounds great. Let's get out of here. Well, what do you think, John? I think this could be a really good place for us to set up camp. You know what, Tyler? I think you're right. This does seem like a good spot. Yeah, and there's already room that's been cleared out, and we have road access. Yeah, it's gonna make it a lot easier to move everybody up here. My only concern is that there might be zombies in the area. Well, we've been here for a while now, and we haven't seen or heard anything, so there's a chance that maybe the zombies are in a different location. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, you know, we've been through these woods a few times and we haven't seen any zombies in the woods. They've all been in the city. All right, well, I'll take your word for it. I mean, look at we even have power lines here. We could probably hook the generators up and set up an actual standing camp that we won't have to move from. Yeah, I think that would be really great. So what do you think it's going to take to move everybody up here? It's going to take a little while. I mean, you saw what we built down there. We're going to have to disassemble everything, bring it all up by hand and reassemble it up here. But, uh, looks like we got plenty of timber. We can cut some trees down and start to build some cabins. All right, so what's the next move, John? What are we gonna do? Well, like I said, it's gonna take a while for us to get everybody up here. We should head back down to our camp for a little while and hang out. And we'll start to get ready, and when the time's right, we'll move up. All right, that sounds great. I'm excited. What was that? Oh, a zombie! Man, what was that? John, are you okay? What happened? Guys, there was another zombie that breached. This time it was in the camp, right in between the cabins. Oh, like the cabins that we were just in? Oh, this is so scary. He could have attacked us. That's right. If I wasn't paying attention, he would have attacked me. This is starting to get really serious, boys. Really serious. So what do we do? I'm afraid we have no choice. We have to pack up as soon as possible and get out of here. We're not going to have the luxury of taking everything with us all at once like I thought. Wait, so what are we going to do? We can't just sleep on the ground out there. We'll be exposed. 
you're right. I think what we have to do is take the essentials. All the weapons, everything that can protect us from these zombies. We can make makeshift shelters for now and use the timber up there to create our own cabins and stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna be so sad leaving our home. Yeah, so am I. It took us a while to build this place up, but unfortunately this is the world we live in now. Yeah, I'd much rather be safe than anything else. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, I, I came up with a pretty good idea. Uh, I just wanted to run it by you real quick. Yeah, what was that? Well, seeing as we're gonna have limited supplies over there, I was thinking that me and Franklin might be able to go into the city and try to get some supplies for everybody. Wait, what? Yeah, well, I mean, think about it. We're not gonna have many supplies. You and I know how to get in and out of the city really easy now. We could probably do it no problem. Yeah, but the last time we were in the city, I mean, it didn't go well for us. That's right, Tyler, I don't know. Might be risky. Well, just think about it, I mean, we're gonna need these supplies, right? And last time just was a mess because it was too many of us. It's just me and Franklin now. We can just run in and out, it won't be a big deal. All right, boys, I trust you. I think it's a good idea and you should go get those supplies. I'm gonna start moving things up into the woods and hopefully we can get everybody there safely. All right, that sounds great. I can't believe you're making me do this again. Look, don't worry, Franklin. We're not going to be out here for too long. Okay, and don't leave my side at all. I'm not going to leave you. Don't worry. But we're not really going to get supplies. We're not? I don't, I don't understand. What's, what are we doing here then? Last time I was in the city, I saw a sign that said laboratory. There was an old science lab here. I remember this city because this was one of those big technology places and there was tons of scientists here. Okay, so you think maybe we check this place out and see if there are any survivors or what? Not exactly. I know that the lab used to deal with diseases. So my thought is maybe there could be something that could help cure the zombies and we could bring Sam back. Tyler, I know you really cared about Sam and all, but I'm not really sure if this is a good idea. It's not just about Sam, it's about everybody. If we can find the antidote, we could save everyone from being zombies. Well, that is if an antidote exists, right? Yeah, but how are we gonna know if we don't look? Yeah, I guess you got me there. Alright, I'll follow your lead. Alright, and just stay close to me, Franklin. Everything should be fine. I haven't even heard any zombies since we got to the city. If we stay quiet, we'll be alright. Alright, I'll try my best to stay quiet. Oh, look at this place, Franklin. This is crazy. Yeah, and it's really creepy. Come on, it looks like there's another room. Let's go check it out. Whoa, this place is crazy. I can't believe it. Look at there's electricity and everything. How is this possible? I don't know. But there's a whole lot of stuff here that I don't think we should be messing with. Vials and chemicals and things like that. I don't know. He's right. You shouldn't mess with those things. Whoa, who are you? I am the person who owns this laboratory. I should be asking you the same question. Well, we didn't think there was anybody left. Well, you thought wrong, because I'm here. Hey, um, how do you have electricity? This doesn't make any sense. The whole world has ended. Well, I'm a scientist, and I've created special ways to make electricity. My own batteries that use alternative means for fuel. Wow, that's awesome. So you're really not being affected at all, huh? No, no, I'm not. Because I was smart enough to plan for these types of things. So who are you anyway? Well, let's just say I'm the last scientist left, and I've been trying to work on a cure for this disease myself. Whoa, really? You're trying to find a cure? That's awesome, that's why we came here. Have you had any luck with a cure? Well, I'm not sure yet. It's been too risky getting zombies. Well, maybe we could help you. We have a whole group of people. I'm sure that we could find some way to catch a zombie. Well, boys, well, that is very interesting news. Yeah, I know. Well, we could go back and get our friend John. He'd know what to do. 
I'm sure he'd want to meet you first. That sounds great. Why don't you two go get John and come back and meet me? All right, sounds great. John, John! Hey, boys, great to see you back. How did it go? You got any supplies? Um, no, actually, we didn't bring back any supplies, but we brought some good news. Oh, really? What's that? Well, um, last time I was there, I noticed that there was this laboratory. So me and Franklin decided to go into the lab to see if we could find some sort of medicine or, I don't know, maybe even possibly a cure. You boys did what now? That doesn't make any sense. You're not a scientist. You don't know how to put together a cure. Yeah, well... We did meet somebody who could. Apparently this lab is running off some sort of alternative energy that this guy created. I didn't get his name, but he said that he wants to talk to you because he needs help getting zombies so that he can test his cure on them. Wait, wait, Franklin, you saw this happen too? Yeah, I did. The man is real and he's alive. He's a real human. And you say that he has electricity? Yeah, he has his whole lab up and running. It's like nothing ever happened. And it's like a force field in there. He must have saw us come in because the doors were automatic. He let us in and out. Well, this does sound a little fishy to me, but if there's somebody out there with those types of resources, they could be very valuable to us. Yeah, that's my thought. Anyway, I told him that maybe you would come back to the lab with me and I could introduce you to. Well, that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Franklin, you want to come? What? No, I'm not going back in that city again. And to be honest, that guy kind of gave me the creeps. Uh, all right, sue yourself, Franklin, but I'm going to find a cure. All right, come on, Tyler, let's go. Franklin, you stay here and enjoy the new camp as it's getting built. Oh, hey, man, um, we're back. Oh, look at you. You must be John. Yes, sir. I'm John. And what's your name? My name remains a mystery. Wait, what do you mean? Tell me your name. It's not important what my name is. What's important is that we make sure this cure works. Yeah, that's great. I'm so excited for it. Do you think we could have some of the cure once you make it? Some of our friends turned into zombies and we want to turn them back. Oh, no. Nobody's turning back. I'm creating this cure to make sure that I can destroy all the ingredients needed to make it. Wait, what? Why would you do that? Well, to protect my greatest accomplishment. Wait, what is that? Well, I'm the one that ended the world. Those zombies are my creation. Wait, are you serious? Why would you do that? And why would you have us come back here? Well, you two are gonna make great test subjects. I needed somebody smart and strong. Somebody that could fight against the zombies. I wanna see how powerful I can make them. And I wanna see if I can bring you back. Wait, so this whole time we were just gonna be test dummies? Yes, that's right, isn't that wonderful? Now come on, you two, you have a lot of work to do. No, come on, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, come on, let's go, I think there's another door. Oh, you two won't be able to run for very long. <laughs> Oh no, John, we're trapped! The door's locked! He must have locked it from the inside! I can't believe this is happening. You and I are in so much trouble. How are we gonna get out of here? Everything's covered in barbed wire, and we're up high. Even if we can, we're gonna fall. Oh, I don't know, John. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this was gonna happen. I shouldn't have trusted him. You're right, kid. You shouldn't have trusted him. Now you've learned a valuable lesson. If you survive, you have to know that you can't trust anyone in this world. Not even me, not even your own brother. All you have is yourself. You're alone out here. Oh man, I'm so sorry, I can't believe this. Ah, what was that? Oh, it sounds like a zombie. Oh no, oh no. Wait, Sam? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more awesome videos from me, make sure you click here and here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that bell, subscribe, turn notifications on so that you never miss a video that I post. Thanks again for watching.